Hi guys, and if you're new to my channel, hi again! My name is Emma and I make videos about Eurovision, so if you like that kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe down below. In today's video, I am reacting to the songs of the second semi-final of the Festival da Canção. The instrumental of this song is super beautiful and it goes great with her fragile voice. This song is so emotional and intimate that I feel like an outsider gossiping about her romantic life while listening to it. This is a very romantic and cute song. It's very chill and it's one of my favorites of this semi-final even though I don't think it is very competitive. I think that a lot of people can relate to the lyrics of this song with the whole pandemic situation. It's a very funny song and I am eager to see the staging because it could be very entertaining. The music and the way of singing could perfectly fit in a vintage musical film. Here we have another song about love and this one has a more traditional sound to it. The guitar in it is to die for, it's so beautiful. The general vibe of the song is very elegant and formal. of this song are so beautiful. This is the feminist song of the festival. The voice of the singer is very warm and I love that it is quite deep. And although it is not fragile at all, it sounds full of emotion. The Jay-Z music is very nice too. This entry sounds very different from the rest. I can keep my feet still with this 50s rock song and if it wasn't already catchy enough, you can add some applauses to it. It doesn't matter if you like it or not, this entry is not going to leave anyone feeling indifferent. It is very entertaining. has a very 90s sound to it. It could be the intro of a TV show. It's a very happy entry, way too happy for me, I would say, but it's cute. The name of this band, Pepperoni Passion, could perfectly describe my relationship with pizza. Sadly, the song itself is not my thing at all. This song is one of the favorites of this semi-final, but I can't bring myself to like it, to be honest. It is not my cup of tea. I like the last part of the song though. I feel like it is going to be a huge hit or miss for a lot of people. To 
finish this semi-final we have another love song with a very raw and emotional voice. This one is another one of the favorites and I can see why. The lyrics are beautiful and the music sounds very current. Now let me know what you think about all of this in the comments down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it so this video can reach more people and also don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my videos. Bye!